Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hard Drive here at Fine Tuning CB. Just for a note, you'll find this radio, General HP40. By the way, I made a mistake. They're not the uh, red dots. They're a match pair of Toshiba 2SE 2290s. If I remember, I'll get the camera down in here and show a whole bunch more. Now, this was all tuned. Oh, let me back up. This video... I'm going to try to cover a lot of different things. They might not, it might not sound like I'm being specific, but pay attention. Every topic has relevance, okay? It's going to have multiple layers or depth. So instead of doing 50 different videos or doing a week-long video, try to look into or think about what I'm saying and showing. For other reference, there are other videos. For this radio, I'll put a link to what this radio did prior to retuning and matching and proper phase angles, etc. to this amp. This is that uh, Hopper 8 pill. We'll get into that here shortly. I mean, we might even open it up and take a look inside. Yesterday, I got the air conditioner off now. It's cool. Everything was tuned and aligned. And, but it was warm. That's how everything has to be done. So everything's going to be cold now, and you're going to see some changes. All right? Everything in plain sight, no bullshit. I see too much bullshit on Facebook, YouTube. It's ridiculous. So let's take a look at this radio now and see what it does. It's a 1,000 watt slug. We don't care about the watts, remember. Stay away from the watts. All that matters is what you see. The rest is just... Pocus, pocus, bullshit. Right, so, this is going to run its best even at half power. And I know you can't see it. It's right here. Here's the radio, and you'll, I'll show you later. My hand's on it, the knob. You can't see it. I'm just trying to keep everything in view. The way it was tuned in the prior video. But everything had to be realigned and retuned so it'll work its best again half power while it's hot or like normal usage there's no other way of using it or tuning it I mean period that's the bottom line key down crap you know totally different shouldn't even be used in the real world at all whatsoever voltage is at 14 volt 14 point like zero zero by now you guys know my power supplies don't even float the decimal which that's extremely important so it's important for you to be able to maintain the same thing on your end alright so same radio this is what it's going to look like right here all the way down wide open Okay. let's see I don't even know what it's going to do without the amp because it's, it's irrelevant and it, whatever it's going to be is what it's going to be when the radio is tuned to an amp so there we go it's keying like 11-12 watts and doing like uh, 35 it's going to swing higher with voice but that's an awesome wave okay? this thing's going to talk let's look at it a little broader that was 30 kilohertz so we'll go to 30 so we know what we're injecting okay nice all right real nice So that's what this is going to do by itself, providing you're using the tuned half wavelengths, all your solder joints are like perfect, you have the correct antenna system, grounds, potentials, RF and DC, all by itself that's what it's going to do. The radio is going to slightly change, not in harmonics, it'll actually clean up even more when it's warm. Everything's cold now, just start, like I said, just starting off. The air conditioner's off, it was cool last night, and 
the truck would even be cooler. I don't have a, I, I'm really thinking about getting the Fleur. I've seen other people are listening and catching on. But anyways, I want the adapter for my phone so I can have all one thing, does all, you know, maybe even do videos with it. We'll see. Hold on a second. Yep, it's going to be a long one. I've got enough vape, but hold on. Receives like 20 dB down, better than 120 dB down. The bottom of the noise floor. AF mod's been done. It's the same exact radio, but uh, the RF output ratios, positive and negative peak ratios, are much different. Biasing, all identical. There's there's a method. To do this, some people think you just buy a radio, slap them together with an amp. Hey, it don't work like that. If you think it does, or you've been doing it for 30 years, well, you've been doing it wrong for 30 years. Period. You ham guys with your Maritrons, Kenwoods, you know, and some of the tube amps, high dollar shit. Well, you're right. I'm on your side. Hook it up, key the mic, and step on the pedal whatever you do and enjoy life this shit's totally different totally so I'm not here to argue with you guys alright anyways all this stuff now this this amp now right here this is a decent little amp that's in this radio it is it's linear up to like 150 watts literally it's decent alright so there's the radio again there's half power all the way down it's going to talk. So at half power of this radio is like about 8 and uh, 26, something like that. Right? So it's going to talk great. Literally talk fantastic. Crystal clear. And remember, stop watching this shit. Any meter, okay? You want a tuned bench certification calibration for all the equipment and be able to view it right here. Everything else is bullshit. No, it's going to be kind of close to this radio. We'll kind of listen to it a little bit on this one right here. One, two. It's on 20. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's with my little static mic right here. 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, it's going to squeal. You know, it's going to squeal if I turn it up. But you shouldn't even be bothering listening to it. Pay attention to what you see. I've got a shitload of videos on that covering frequency response peak ratios and the master of the 4 to 1. It's slightly different. 4 to 1 is what you're always going to attempt to achieve. Okay? And that's just not on a meter. You can't use a meter to do it. you got to use a scope, proper test equipment, all the phase angles terminated to a 50 ohm load and or antenna. And we'll go to the antenna too. That's how you determine what outperforms, what performs with what or what. You know, all you need is a bench. You don't need a key down. This is way more accurate. But then again, that would take all the fun of everybody, you know, or everyone going out and having, and take a lot of money out of certain people's pockets. Ha 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 ha. Right, exactly. So, okay, this radio is finished. Let's turn this on. Pull this back out. We're gonna stick in a uh, okay. Under this is all in a real bench, not some hocus pocus bullshit. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, same thing. Now. You see these guys with like five or six meters or whatever. This one does this, this one. I mean, that's like playing three card Monty. If you're playing it, okay, you're the dealer, you're the winner. But if you're not, and you're not part of that group, then you lost. If you don't know what three card Monty is, look it up. Study it. I'm sure I'm pissing some people off tough. Yeah, 
so there we go. Yeah, three card Monty. Three meters, five meters, three card Monty. Because you don't have to measure reflect if you can view the reflect and tune it out. Got it? All right. Now it's going to get noisy in here. I got to turn old Cosell on. And it's sitting real close by. There's no voltage drop. You can hear it fire up. Yeah, they're noisy. The fans are noisy. The fans are like 23 or 28 bucks a piece. Yeah, you know, not cheap when you got like seven of them and there's <laughs> two per fan. That's a chunk of change, man. Anyways, and the bench one's in the back room. If I have certain other things at certain current, then I have another one sitting right over there that I can just wired directly which pisses me off too because this amp didn't come wired I'll get into that later so let's turn this on we're going to start out low power all right everything in plain sight looks pretty rough doesn't it this builder said that just run the power all the way up till that stops or some kind of shit because he wouldn't offer the customer any resolve. None at all. That's a thumbs down, man. Try to give him excuses. This isn't a bashing video. It's just a reality video. Okay? Now, when this thing warms up, it's going to take a while to get everything warm. And you're going to see it's going to be a little bit better. This guy, he, he bought this and wants all this stuff so he could talk on the effing thing, okay? That's why he's investing all this money. Not to talk on it for 10 damn seconds. He wants to be able to use it. And he's a truck driver. He doesn't need to be flipping switches and shit while he's driving. Obviously, you builders don't have a clue about mobiles. You should really pay attention. So now we're going to go to half power, which when this thing warms up, it's going to be different again, and it's going to be around, that's a thousand, so if you don't know what these are or where that's set, watch another video. That's 200. It's going to be 200 at half when it warms up, and uh, like... 250 watt carrier wide open throttle that's halfway all the way down so let's look at it halfway right. let's get it in there we might pop the amp open later to look at it check it out nightmare I might get the camera in closer because you're, you're going to have a hard time seeing what's really going on Okay, see all the distortion? You can correlate it with the spectrum analyzer. See it? Now we'll go back down. That's, the, that's like almost going to self oscillation. See that? I don't want to do this very long. That's squealing like a pig. See it? power and uh, wide open power. It's starting to warm up a little bit. Not hot yet, it's just warming up. Let's get you backed out a little bit. See, it's starting to fall into temperature, it's starting to fall into the tune. So it's going to do like 250 to 1000. It's going to show more when I talk about it. Audio, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it's not audio. Let's keep it warm. Audio, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, out of focus. 
Audio 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Break, 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 break. Audio 1, 2. Yeah, a miracle has happened, huh? With a screwed up amplifier. So, that's what we got going on here. At full power. It's about 300. That's 3,000. 300. And we got some serious harmonics going on in the amplifier. Not the radio. Amplifier. Alright. So now let's go back down to 30. Go to half power. Say an hour or so has gone by. He's talking on it, talking on it. Not too bad, all right? But this, you change jumpers. I'm not getting into how, why, what, when, etc. If you don't know this by now, I have to tell you. This does help cancel a lot of scenarios. Yes, there's a half wavelength tune wire frequency connected. You see how it's fluctuating and changing? I'll get into that later. Now let's do this as real as possible. This would be on an antenna system, mine, and I'm sure you know that my shit ain't junk. Alright, see the harmonics? My bench wasn't set up the way it was. Everything in here would be lighting up, you'd hear it squealing. But you don't. One TV per five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's coming through that radio. Everything is shielded, all the audio wires, everything in here is done correctly. But if you notice, you get these other shops where you can hear the radio or the amplifier talking. That's all RF is what it is. So, <coughs> I don't want to do this long. That's at, full, that's at half power, full power, and that's all the way down. Okay? See the harmonics? Not only do you see it on the spectrum analyzer, you're going to see her too. Wish it would focus better, but. See it? Let me go back. It's just changing, you'll see it. You see all the noise? You also see it there. You can see it changing as the temperature changes. So, in other words, some banks or transistors are fully modulating or over modulating and some are under modulated. The gain of each transistor is different from the other. Or the wires or the components. I'm, I'm confident that the guy that is attempting to build these is probably using a capacitance check, checker LCR. I'm not sure what quality. And that's his level. He's checking them to test for tolerances but it goes way deeper than that why build a box if you're going to put transistors that weren't beta matched in don't blame it on the class C because a class C doesn't do this only if it's not properly designed, made and assembled, I mean the combiners the toroids you know, if everything isn't tuned you're going to have this issue Especially if the transistors weren't beta matched. Because now at this state that we're in right now, customer, like I told you, I'm going to build you some good shit. But once you get to the point where you spend all this money and those transistors are already installed, we're dead in the water. The amount of flipping money it takes and time, this shit. It's not the parts, it's the time. Someone's time. You know what I mean? Time, that's expensive shit. No way around it. Now that the HGs are in here, and maybe some of them are okay, but if they're not beta matched, it doesn't mean if there's some little number written, that doesn't mean jack shit. Beta match, Tektronics, you know, beta matcher, certification and calibration, there's going to be no other way. Got it? Alright, so here we go. Cooled off a little bit again. See it? Look. There's your squeal. There's your SWR problems. 
there's those other frequencies harmonics, IMD, etc. Nasty shit is what it is. Alright? Well, let's give it some power. Back out so you can see it a little bit. You should be able to run this at any power level you damn well please. The only thing that changes are the peak ratios. Okay, you can see I'm giving it more power. That's half power, that's where I run it. Okay, go back to load. That's what I just did is so disrespectful, it's ridiculous. Okay? Without saying any more words. Those of you who've been around a while know what I was just doing. And that's pathetic. Splattering like that. Anyways, back to load. See the harmonics? It's not the radio. It's the amp. And it has nothing to do with it being a class C. A class C you're going to see the first. You know, or actually the, the second at 54. Not all these other spurious emissions. Alright, so it's going to work. It's going to work till it detonates. And if you do everything that I suggest, 100%, it's going to work. And it might work, work, work a while. Run it at half power. And then shut it off. And then you have your radio. Okay? That's going to perform. Beautiful radio. Spent the time on it. You spent the money. You bought the extra 2SC Toshiba 2290s to help me do this video. But you're getting everything that you paid for and more. Way more. So you're going to use it like you said. I warned you not to. But you're going to do what you're going to do. I, I got that part, man. I did the best that I can do without spending a lot more of your money. You're just going to have to use it. Like you said you were going to do. Let's pop this thing open. Take a look inside. Hold on a second. Some people say, oh, a pretty solder job doesn't mean nothing. It means it means a lot, okay? It means a hell of a lot. I'm going to try to get you out of here on this cradle. Unplug. And take a look. That's exactly what this is. All right? Real Toshiba 2290s. Match pair from RF Parts. Yeah, care and time was taken to do this. Let's get you back in the little cradle over here. Get this out of the way. I'll be blaming on the Spurs Emissions Harmonics on being a class C. That's what you paid for. You know, that's uncalled for.